Hello everyone and welcome back to That Bing Geek Plays Some Minecraft. Today I am uh, unveiling a very, very special project I have been working on. It is a competitive server where your job is to colonize this map, which is a 1 to 2000 scale map of the Earth. Um, and you have to colonize this map in order to help save the world. There is a system of gods in this world who inhabit three cities that have been made, and I'll, I'll show you those later on in the video. Um, and your job is to side with them, pick the side, fight for your god, and overall just have fun. There's a whole lot of stuff here. You're supposed to be setting up trade routes. We have a bunch of different plugins to help do that. Ranging from the My Trip, which is where I have this drugging station in my hand, and the Magic plugin. Both are very, very, very cool. Um, and I honestly cannot wait for this. Uh, starting off, here's our starting city. Uh, the map creator decided to put one of two and Ooh, excuse me. One of two end portals here. One of them lies right in front of the starting city. You can hop in that, but I do not recommend it. Right here, what we have in front of us is Cape Tirgan, the home of the Hall. Uh, the first god we'll be getting into. There are three gods. I will only talk about two of them, because the third one <clears throat> is a surprise. Alright, first off, let's go ahead and check in with the Hall, see what he has to think about this. Is Tiamat's quest to take this world for her own selfish gain? What becomes of destroying Bastok? Taking my brother away from me? Destroying the balance of this world? Then, she lifts the city of Windurst out of the ground, and brings the world tree into view, potentially damning this world if it is ever destroyed. We must retaliate. I have tellered the floating city to the earth. It is your chance. To colonize, build your town, take down Tiamat. Right now, the city is where the Longish River splits. If you need help, all you must do is ask. We will strike a deal. Don't worry. It will be fair. Bahal. Alright. So this is this is Bahal City. He lives in this nice little Cape Tiergen, and he has offered you a quest. But, let's see what the other lectern holds. Beware of Bahal, the lawful tyrant god of Cape Tiergen. To all who stepped in his damned halls, beware of the unknown rules. The denizens of this town are trapped within his halls, forever bound by broken rules. I urge you to turn back and colonize this world. The world of Eldasta is not inhabited by Bahal alone. Tiamat, the goddess of the end, the mistress of the floating island of Windurst. In her care, Windurst has become the current trade powerhouse of the world, the city that lies where the Longish River splits. May she come to our aid in this time of wrath. Seek out Tiamat, colonize the world, and take down Bahal. There is, however, a whisper of another god in this world. The town of his origin is the ruined city of Bastok. The city was destroyed when Bahal deemed it a danger to his plans. Some say the god who resides there fled to the nether. Some say he died. Who is to say? May you find peace in this unforgiving world. May you finally take down Bahal to end his tyranny. A kindred spirit. So here we have two different options to go ahead and look at, but it is your option of which one you choose. If you side with Bahal, uh, you can go ahead and just start colonizing around here, maybe wait for him to pop online, he might help you out a little bit. If you side with Tiamat, make your way to where the long, long, longest river splits. But for now, let's go ahead and explore Cape Kyrgyz. So you pop through this waterfall, and you can start climbing up the stairs. Now, it doesn't explicitly say it in the book, but the reason you are to be colonizing is because a lot of these towns are having problems with overcrowding. As you can see, there are really no place for many people, as they are all crowded to up to the rooftops. There's also a stray cat problem, but uh, I'm sure that'll sort itself out. And if you look in here, as you can see, Cape Tiergen is a very, very, very wealthy city. It is well off. But, what of the others? As we make our way to the city of Windurst. The city of Windurst is by far my favorite city. Uh, 
making this was was a joy. As you can see, it is currently tethered to the earth, the floating islands, and then the world tree. I'm just going to go into F1 here so you can really appreciate all of this. Uh, with, the, uh, with dawn coming, this is such a beautiful town if you choose to stay here. Also, it does not suffer the same problem that uh, Cape Tirigan does of overcrowding. Quite the opposite, it is undercrowded. However, as more people start to populate and join the city, more shops will open up, more trades will happen. And if we take a look into here, we can start going into the world tree and view the actual city of Windurst. There are currently only two... Ooh, they're farther off than I thought. There are currently only two active traders open right now, but plenty of villagers in this town to start um, to start trading. If we come up to our first two shops here, we can see... Ooh, we have three villagers here, and we have one here with a lectern, three farmers, and one uh, librarian. And if we continue walking up this beautiful tree... Uh, we will see the residential quarters. Here's some more areas for future shops. Moving up still, we get to pop out one of these tendrils of the world tree. And here's the residential area. As you can see, there are plenty, plenty, plenty of people here to start setting up shops, and uh, they personally cannot wait. But what of Tiamat? Where does Tiamat reside in all of this? Well, I'll show you. Tiamat lives at the very, very top of the world tree. As you can see, the world tree all goes all the way up to the build limit, and here we are at Tiamat's place. There is a secret way to get here, I will not reveal where, um, for it is you to find. Yes. Welcome to the place of Tiamat. Here you will find her, strike a deal, to perhaps take down the hall. But secrets may await you in this beautiful world of Aldasta. Well, that's for you to decide. Until next time, I'll see ya.